everyone, my name is Melissa. I want to go over a question that was raised on the Enterprise DNA forum, where a member wanted to create for each customer a product list of products that that customer bought. So let's go over the Power Query. And here we have a sales table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reference that table. So right click that table name and select reference. Now this gets us an exact copy of our original sales table, right? And to be honest, we only need the customer column and the product column. So what we can do inside those square brackets, we can select the columns that we need. So square bracket and another square bracket for the column name customer, comma, and in another set of square brackets, product, press enter. And we now have a table that only contains our two columns. But there are duplicate values here, right? So we can also remove those and add table dot distinct. So we're now left with a very small table that only has the distinct combination of each customer and product. And to create that list of products by customer, we can group by. So select the customer column and group by. So customer is fine and we're going to select all rows. Press OK. So we now have a nested table object. So when you click off to the side in the white space, so not on the table object itself, but to the side, down below we can see a preview of that table. And we can also see that for the next one, right? So what we need to do, we now have limited our table back to only unique customers and we need to extract those values from the product column. So I'm going to add a custom column, rename this products, and what we're now going to do is we're going to reference our all rows column to get to that nested table object, and from that nested table we only want our product column. So in those square brackets, product and press OK. And because we referenced a single column, we get a list object, right? So pressing off to the side in the white space again, here we can see that product list. And if we now click those sideward arrows, we get two options. So the first option is to expand to new rows which basically will get us back to where we started, right? Because for each product in our list, a new record will be added to this table. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to select Extract Values. And here we can select a delimiter. So I'm going to select Custom, enter a comma and a space, and press OK. Excellent. So we've now created a list of products that were bought by each customer. So I hope you found this short video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.